What is going on guys? It is Parker here. Super excited to be bringing you a basically new sub. I haven't really seen many videos of this on YouTube, but this looks to be an absolutely awesome sub. This is the Dead Game Audio Huracan sub. So we're going to get right into it guys. Again, super excited to be checking out something brand new and bringing it to y'all. Alright guys, so yes, we have the Dead Game Audio Huracan sub. Let's just get right into it. Now I want to give a huge shout out to Dead Game for sending me the sub to try out. The owner of it is absolutely awesome. He's a super humble guy. Me and him talked for like an hour on the phone. He just knows a ton about subs and is super passionate about uh, subs. And he sent this to me and he said, man, make a review, put it through all your tests. You know, do everything you can to it. And he said, he said he wanted to see what it would do. So that is exactly what we're going to do, guys. So first off, we have the specs here. It's kind of cool. We have a uh, chart over here. And then we have just a few of the specs. So this likes a box. That is 2.5 to 3 cubic feet. So that will be perfect for my box. And it says tuned to 32 to 36 hertz. And my box is tuned to 32 hertz, so again, going to be perfect. We have a mounting depth of 3 and 1 8 inches, a cutout diameter of 11 and a quarter inches, and it says the magnet diameter is 9 inches, dual tensile leads, multi layer Nomex Spider, 1200 watts RMS, 25 millimeters of X Max one way, and a 3 inch copper coil. And then down here we have 35.6. Uh, Hertz for the FS. The SBL is 85.79 dB. And then we just have some other specs along the bottom of here too. But let's get right into it. Now from talking to the owner, uh, this sub is a more all around, I don't want to say quality mind minded sub, but a sub that is more meant to get loud and to sound good in a uh, wide range spectrum. Whereas, I think in the last video, I did this SCAR ZVX, and it was an awesome sub if you wanted to be between like 30 and 45 hertz. It got really loud, and it was definitely more kind of SPL based. But, if you're trying to play a wide range of music, or just have a daily sub in your car, you kind of really wouldn't want this sub. So, that's where this sub should fit in perfectly. Guys, here is the sub. As I mentioned, this thing is a heavy, heavy sub. Again, over 50 pounds. Definitely a pain to get out of the box, but let's give y'all a quick look at it. Super clean looking sub. We do have direct leads, so that's pretty cool. Then it's pretty stiff. Not the stiffest thing I felt, but again, this is more towards quality. Not strictly SPL or like super, super lows. But yeah, overall, looks pretty cool. Well, let's jump into it, guys. Starting at the top. We have our dust cap. It is pretty stiff. You can dimple it if you really push on it, but overall pretty stiff. We have a nice high roll, definitely a high roll surround. Not quite a mega roll surround, but it is, it is a pretty beefy surround. We do have nice double stitching all along the side here. We have just a super basic plain gasket, and there does seem to be a bunch of glue holding this around to the basket. Moving on from there, of course, a uh, cast aluminum basket looks pretty nice. I know I've seen this on a few other subs, but I can't really place exactly what subs I have seen it on. And then from there, we have this huge 300 ounce motor. This thing is quite heavy, but it looks really, really nice. It has some beautiful uh, machining on it. We do have a big old center venting right here and really nice pole venting around there. And it's got a really nice machine, like, texture to it. Just looks and feels really great. I do really like it. Then, of course, we have our direct leads. Now, these are really nice. It's the super flexy wire. So, I've seen some subs where they have the stiffer wire. But this has got the super flexy wire. It looks and feels really awesome. Looks to be about 8 gauge. And then down here, we can see this big old 3-inch copper coil on this nice-looking former. And up here, we do have the dual uh, tinsel leads sewn into the spider. We have a nice red spider. And it does look to be a dual spider. One down here, one up here. And there does look to be plenty of glue around here and on top. 
so that probably won't come undone. And then we do have bolts holding the uh, spider down along here, so we shouldn't have to worry about the spider coming detached from the basket. Let's get another look up at this, guys, just a little bit closer for y'all, just so you can kind of see all the details of what we got going on here. Overall, it does seem to be an awesome looking sub with definitely some time and thought put into it. Again, this wire is like super flexy, so that's really cool. You can see that voice coil in there. Now, personally, I do kind of wish it had the black glue on it. I don't know why. I've just had better luck with subs that had the, you know, high heat black glue on them. But I've had good luck with subs that didn't also, so it probably doesn't matter. That is just kind of a personal preference thing of mine. But take a look at this huge motor. This thing is massive. And it's just very clean. Again, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but it's got a nice, really nice texture across there and there. Overall, guys, just a awesome looking sub. Well, guys, we have had this thing in here for a little while now, playing it, letting it break in. I will say it sounds awesome. The sound quality on this thing is just spectacular. So, so really have been loving it. But let's get to the testing of this video. As always, we're going to do some musical testing just so y'all can kind of see and hear how it uh, sounds and then from there we're going to do a db test just to see how loud we can get this single 12 in this box and then we're going to do the musical real life rms uh, test just to make sure that this thing can withstand a full song at its rms power so guys let's get to it
Well, guys, not sure how well it picks up on video. It definitely doesn't do it justice, but this sub does sound really, really good. I do really enjoy it. If you're looking for more of a sub that can get loud and be more on the sound quality side of things, this thing has you covered. I love it, guys. Anyway, it is time to get into the DB test. So we're going to play some 40 hertz test tones through this thing and see what we can get. Hopefully we can get to like 142 or, you know, something like that. But uh, let's see. All right, first try, we got 140. And that was at 2,700 watts. We're going to bump it up a few clicks. Really uh, push this and see what it can do. Let's go. I maxed out pretty bad there, but we got... 142.5 and that was 5,400 watts. We have it turned down so it won't max so much. Let's see what it does. Still max pretty bad, but we got a 144.4 guys. And that time we were at 4,555 watts. Well guys, we are gonna leave it at that. Super happy with that score. Again, 112. And this box is tuned really low to 32 hertz. So if we tuned it higher, we could get well up into the uh, 145, 146, maybe even 147, something like that. Who knows? But anyway, guys, 144.4, awesome score out of a single 12. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the RMS test. We have the SMD AMM1 hooked up so we can see the real-time RMS power that is going to this sub. And we're going to be playing off these by JID. It's about a three and a half minute song and it's pretty bass heavy. The song I normally use to test out in these videos. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna do that and hopefully it'll make it through this song at its rated RMS power. I would say decently conservatively rated at uh, 1200 watts RMS. So let's go ahead and get to it and see what it does. Alright guys, I'm going to be honest, that is about nerve-wracking every single time, just because I have blown subs before doing that test, so I never want to blow a sub just because that's no fun. I do enjoy getting to use these after I make the videos, but anyway, it made it through no problem. It is a little warm on the dust cap, but nothing too extreme. I've definitely had some subs get warmer, like the uh, Sundown that I did, the SAV2, it got real warm after I did the RMS test, but it still did fine. It didn't uh, die or anything, but it did get pretty warm and a little stinky. Whereas this guy, not warm at all, and I don't smell anything. So, coil is good on this. Of course, this is rated for 1200 watts RMS, but I had it pushing pretty hard. Obviously, a song is dynamic, so it's not gonna stay at a certain uh, wattage, but we were peaking up to 20 or 25 watts, and then staying kind of between 800 and maybe 1500 more consistently through there and it did fine made it through the full song no issues whatsoever and it sounded great the entire time well guys i want y'all to let me know what you thought of this dead game huracan sub i think it's pretty awesome the again quality on this thing is just excellent it sounds so good if you have like a daily car and you just want some really loud and quality bass this thing will have you covered i loved it I love the sub, and I love the fact that when I spoke to the owner, he was a super chill and humble guy, and he could you could tell he just loved subs, and he had put a ton of time into really perfecting this thing to where he liked it, and where it just sounded good, and he knew he was going to be bringing something to, to the market that was going to be a good quality sub that was going to put a smile on your face. So yeah, guys, anyway, I really enjoyed it. Now, it does retail close to around 400 bucks, so that is definitely a little pricier sub than I normally do on this channel. But again, that's kind of where, you know, is it worth it to you to trade some money for some quality? And 
also just to kind of get something different. All right, guys, I got a quick sneak peek for y'all. So let's go check that out. I picked up the American Base HD for y'all. Y'all know American Base is probably my personal favorite when it comes to more budget-minded subs. Of course, this guy retails for right under 300 bucks, and it is a monster. Just have it here next to the ZVX. If you've not seen this video, go check it out. Really cool video, kind of showing off Scar's biggest 12-inch sub that they make. But anyway, yeah, guys, stay tuned for this. This looks like it's going to be a little more of a SPL, just get real loud kind of sub. We got a ton of cone area here, so super excited to be testing this out for y'all. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will leave a link in the description below to where you can pick up this sub. It's not an affiliate link, so I don't make any money uh, if you do go there, but definitely should give them a check out. And I really do appreciate uh, the owner for letting me test out this sub for y'all. Always super fun to test out new and upcoming brands and just something different. Anyway, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.